Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. In today's content we're going to show you recent openings in Pigeon Forge. We're also going to show you what's brand new and what is to come for the 2023 season. So without further ado we're going to jump right in to what's new in Pigeon Forge and Sevierville. Starting at the south end of Parkway we first come to the Evergreen Lodge. Evergreen Lodge has been bought by Days In, so they're undergoing a big renovation, as you can see here. Excited to see what's to come at this renovated motel. Next, we're going across the street to Ripley Super Fun Park. If you remember, this used to be the track. Now, this is something that's happened a little bit ago, but we've not featured it yet on the channel. So it's basically all kind of the same. Go-kart tracks, rides for the kids, and they do still have the arcade in the back, which has undergone some changes. So it's definitely worth checking out if you haven't already in 2023. Next, we're on Teaster at the Riverwalk Shops. And the new spot here is called the Corner Diner. It's right there on the corner next to Scoops. This is where Marshall's and Food City is on Teaster. And right down the road from there is the Mountain Mile, which is our next stop on the journey. Giving you an update here on Azure Cantina, which has seemed like it's taken an incredibly long time to get together, but they will have a rooftop bar up there. It'll be exciting. And now Savannah Bee Company has made their way to the Mountain Mile as well. It's going to be exciting. There's a lot of new stuff to come, not only in 2023, but beyond at the Mountain Mile. Right across the road at the Mountain Mile Annex is the Lodge Cast Iron Store. Now headed back down to Parkway. We have the Grand Smokies Resort, which has announced a big expansion of their water park. So that'll be exciting to see. This new construction that we're coming up on is going to be the Sky Pirates Miniature Golf. Located right on Parkway. And as we stated in a video a couple weeks ago, Christmas and Collectibles been here 40 plus years. It is now closed down. It and the China Mart beside it has moved all of its inventory to its location out in Sevierville on Winfield Dunn Parkway. Sad to see it go. Next, the Gatlinburg-centric Gatlin's Escape Games has found its way to Pigeon Forge along with a newly remodeled Baskin Robin side by side. This is a nice looking building here. Heading north on Parkway, we arrive to Memories Theater. Now this used to be Playhouse on the Parkway, and I think it may have even been Memories before, but Elvis and Friends are back at this location at Memories. Headed towards Collier Drive here on Parkway, you're gonna see what used to be TGI Fridays. And it's now gonna be a restaurant called Roma Table. Next, we head over to Governor's Crossing. Let's see what's new here. The first spot is a little children's boutique called Violet Kingdom Boutique. Then we head up to Little John's Pizza, which you can count on. We will be visiting very soon. And Foam Warriors. This is a Nerf war area. And then Severe Air has a new addition. It is called Severe Warfare. It's laser tag, so it's gonna be right here in this corner of the building. Still at Governor's Crossing, this place looks like a Mexican restaurant, but in actuality, it is a Mexican themed ice cream and candy shop. Now before we head back out on Parkway, we have a few rapid fire entries that we're going to run through very quickly. First up is the Mountain Wildlife Museum. It is located at Lumberjack Square. Then we have the Tiger Mom Boba Bar, 750 Winfield Dunn Parkway. Wilderness at the Smokies has announced a big expansion. We have that in our recent video. The Pines at the Historic Pines Theater has newly reopened and revamped. Pinchy's Lobster and Beer Company, also in Sevierville. Hippie Barbecue and Grill, we have a video on this. It is now open. 
Sky Pirates of Mermaid Bay, the golf that we just showed you a minute ago, coming in summer of 2023. Pigeon Forge e-bikes, 2850 Parkway is now open. Pizza Rio 140 Showplace Boulevard is coming soon. And Alcatraz has the new Bonnie and Clyde exhibit, as well as a new exhibit with David Koresh and Jerry Epstein. The Neighborhood Beer House, which we're going to show you a little bit of footage of here in just a minute. 1436 Winfield Dunn Parkway, the 1919 Society, 101 East Main Street, Sevierville, the Iron Forge Brewery and Tap House, 371 Lonesome Valley Road, Big Bear Mountain at Dollywood, new coaster coming to Dollywood this year. The Edge Dueling Water Coaster at Soki Mountain is now open. Trotter's Barbecue, we're going to show you a clip of this here in just a second in Sevierville, downtown. The Dreamcatcher Hotel will open adjacent to the Tower Shops coming summer of 2023. And Dollywood's Heart Song Lodge and Resort will open in 2023 featuring 302 rooms. Back on the road here, heading north on Forks of the River, we see Dutch Brothers Coffee. This is right across from the downtown district. Very popular coffee chain coming to Sevierville. And this is Trotter's Whole Hog that we showed you just a second ago. On Winfield Dunn Parkway, a look at the neighborhood beer house that we also just showed you a moment ago. It's a really cool design here. I really like the look of this place. And now for some new construction on Winfield Dump. We have a new Chick-fil-A coming to the area. It's right in front of Hamrick's. And then much to the girl's delight, the location of the new Sevierville Target. It's gonna be right beside the Quality Inn and the Chick-fil-A that we just showed you. And now for the biggest development coming to the area in some time, the 407. So here's a look on top of the hill. A lot of construction going on. Going to be several stores that already exist here in the area that's going to be having a location out here, but a lot of new stuff, some hotels, places to catch some drinks, Poide Fuse coming, and much to many of your delight, the new Bucky's. Pretty sure everybody is more excited about this than we are. But here's a look from the back side. And now looking from the front, lots of gas pumps. And I hear the bathrooms are exceptionally clean. So that's a wrap for us for what's new in Pigeon Forge and Sevierville for 2023. Let us know what you're excited about that's coming to the area here this year. We will certainly be featuring a lot of this on the channel, so let us know what you would like to see. And if you're wondering what's new in Gatlinburg, we have you covered as well. Please click on the Smoky Plus video that's in the corner right here, and we'll see you next time. If you made it this far, like if you liked it, comment if you're a fan, subscribe if you're feeling it. If not, that's okay too. Wow.